most Lagosians are united in the belief that Governor Fashola has done very well. What therefore are the essential qualities that anyone hopes that Governor Fashola's successor should have? Lagos is a very important state in Nigeria. In fact, it's the state of example. And uh, I've often described the governor of Lagos State, um, Babatunde Raji Fashola S.A.N as the governor of example. And this is because Lagos sets the tone for the rest of Nigeria. And anybody who wants to govern must understand that there are standards uh, to governing. And that apart from the fact that we have a concentration of Nigerians in this state, we also have the concentration of infrastructure use and dissipation in this state. So what we expect of a governor coming in the heels of um, Babatunde Raji Fashola is to understand first that Lagos must be run with grand vision. Lagos is uh, a state where you have different ethnic groups gathered more than any place in the country and everyone with a sense of entitlement to Lagos. And, and that comes also with a price. And the governor of Lagos will have to consider what Fashola has done in the areas of environment, infrastructure, education, health care, and especially in the area of um, rule of law and a sense of order and security. And I will say that whoever takes after Fashola will make sure that it consolidates what Fashola has done in the area of security. Because in spite of all that Fashola has done in Lagos State, I think that his greatest achievement is in the area of security. And whoever takes over must ensure that that is consolidated. But the person who takes over has certain other areas because governance is a continuum that he has to focus on. One is transportation. The governor now has started the rail system, which I'm sure he will have um, completed or commissioned before he leaves office. Well, Lagos continues to get itself into a position of absorbing more and more people into town, which means that there has to be more and more burden on moving around in Lagos State. So a new governor in Lagos State must focus on that very intricate job of expanding avenues for communication in Lagos State, communication in terms of moving from one place physically to the other. We might need some bridges, but I think that the whole area of rail system will have to be more and more concentrated on, so that there will be more and more people moving in different areas and making connections without the overload of traffic, especially in the peak times in Lagos. We know too that work needs to be done in terms of rural Lagos. Um, the rural part of Lagos will need a lot more work from whoever takes over uh, Lagos. And as you expand and open new areas, and some of that has happened uh, in the tenure of Fashola, but the person who takes over will do a lot of work in opening up Lagos uh, more and more into the rural reaches uh, of the state so that more and more people will live there with all the infrastructure uh, provided. And the area of housing is important. What Fashola has done is to open a lot of um, estates for people. And so the person has to, the new person who takes over, you also have to go to those areas as well uh, to take over. Healthcare um, is also important. But let us talk about education. Fashola has concentrated a lot on the whole area of standards in education. He has been concentrating more on making sure that the teachers were of the right quality and the students got the right, um, the right kind of teaching and tools. The person who takes over will have to concentrate more on educational, physical infrastructure, which means the building of more schools to catch up with a rising population. And the question too is to try to bring education up to the level of some of the private schools and so on.
Those are very important areas I think that the new governor should concentrate on. The area of revenue generation, which was begun by uh, the Tinubu administration and, and uh, continued by the Fashola administration, that has been done very well. But in terms of transportation, because I go back to that, it is the, the fulcrum of getting everything in good stead in Lagos. Because you're talking of security, you're talking of education, uh, you're talking of expanding the rural riches of, um, of the state. You still need to create huge uh, infrastructure, especially of transportation. So the roads and the rail may be the two greatest twin jobs of the man who takes over uh, from Fashola in 2015.